Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the English translation of the Majlis of Hazrat Mawlana Qamru Zama Sahib Tamud Barakatuhum, which took place on Tuesday, the 15th of Safar, 1444, corresponding with the English date, 13th of September 2022. Hazrat Wala starts off the Majlis by reciting ayat of the Quran in Majid, Fariqun fil Jannati wa Fariqun fil Sa'ir. Also, فَأَمَّا مَنْ طَغَى وَآثَرَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا فَإِنَّ الْجَحِيمَ هِيَ الْمَأْوَى وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَهَا النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْهَوَى فَإِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ هِيَ الْمَأْوَى As for those, or as for the one who transgresses and who prefers the life of this world, he works for the dunya, not for the akhirat. Then Jahannam shall certainly be his abode. As for the one who fears standing before his Rabb and who restrains his nafs from carnal passions, then Jannah shall definitely be his abode. Allahu Akbar. You know, whatever work, whatever the work is, whether it is Shadi Bia, Wedding, Walima, Jalsa, all of this, whatever it is, it can never ever make us negligent. It should never ever make us negligent of the Akhirat. Now here, we read the ayat of the Quran in Majid. Can there be, and you heard the translation, basic translation of this, can there be any greater admonisher than the Quran? Never. Hazrat Mawlana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to pick up the Qur'an. He would recite from, from the Qur'an. He would explain the mazameen and the articles, translation of the ayat of the Qur'an in Majid. And then he would go on to say, Tell me, can there be a greater admonition than this? Allahu Akbar. Now here, Allah Ta'ala refers to two groups of uh, people individually. Speaking of those destined to Jahannam, Allah Ta'ala says, as for the one who transgresses and who prefers the life of this dunya, then Jahannam shall certainly be his abode. People generally cling to kufr and refuse to accept Islam because they fear losing their wealth and positions or positions. This displays their preference for this dunya over the akhirat. It is for the same reason that Muslims also commit sins, chasing after wealth, fame, position leads people to commit sins, to neglect their farad, their wajib obligations and to involve themselves in everything that violates Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands. On the other hand, when a person gives preference to the life of the year after, he will become conscious about leading a life of piety and he will stay far away from sin. Now this is the yaqeen that we have to have. By mere recitation, this type of ineffect will not be achieved. Rather, we have to understand what is the message that Allah Ta'ala is giving us in the Quran and we have to ponder over these things ponder and make muraqaba and meditate over it and from all of this the meditation of death is the most important that of the akhirat what will happen in the akhirat now the worst thing that can come our way or the mother of all ailments sicknesses and spiritual diseases is that of ghaflat Hazrat Muhammad Muhammad Ahmad Yassab used to say that that Ghaflat Ummul Amraz hai That negligence is the mother of all sicknesses And the natija, you just heard it now Of negligence is that a person will go to disbelief A person will commit sins He will do this, that and the other Now Imam Muhammad Rahimahullah It is his waqiyah when he became a uh, Baligh Then he had fikr and there were some masalas 
uh, regarding his salah that okay when did I become baligh etc etc today a person reaches the age of 15 he is 15 but there is no fikr in him whatsoever about akhirat about salat about this about that now I'm just saying it I can't remember many years ago I have uh, maybe read that waqiyah of Imam Muhammad you people should check it up and see uh, and so that I don't like to quote too much here because I, I would like it to be a hundred percent so just check that up for me so Allah Ta'ala then speaks about the second type of person when he says as for the one who fears he fears standing before his Rabb and who restrains his nafs from carnal passions, then Jannah shall definitely be his abode. Whenever a person wants to do good and abstain from evil, his carnal self, his nafs, presents an obstacle. Once carnal self, once your nafs, only once pleasure, it wants enjoyment, it wants love of this dunya it has no inclination for the akhirat because its concern is only for the pleasures of the dunya it will therefore spur a person on to uh, committing sin and leading a life of recklessness therefore when a person gains control over this nafs this carnal self he will be able to abstain from sin and will uh, content himself with that which is halal instead of haram. Such people will attain high ranks of uh, Jannah. So halal and haram is also very very important. A person, the person who fears standing for reckoning before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall receive uh, two gardens of Jannah. Like how Allah ta'ala says in Surah Rahman, وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَان The one who fears standing in the presence of his Rabb shall have two gardens. You know, I went to Bombay now and I seen closely our people you know, I've been called and someone said this and someone said this. This time I went and the people are telling me and then he came himself, our Israel by. And they're saying that this is his uh, shop. This is his restaurant. So when I went and I looked at it, maybe you can say two or three houses put together. That's how huge, that's how big. And seeing to the needs of all those people that are working there, and the amount of barakat that Allah Ta'ala gives him and he is in his own world he is sitting somewhere and making tilawat he is doing this and he is doing that you know one thing I have to say and acknowledge that really Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has put the importance of deen in the hearts of these people there is a very big difference when I go there and I see these people and how they live their lives. Allahu Akbar. Hazrat Jabir radiallahu ta'ala narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I fear most for my ummah that they follow the dictates of their nafs and they entertain lengthy hopes. The desires of their nafs prevents one from uh, the truth and lengthy hopes makes one forget about the Akhirat. This world is moving away from us and the Akhirat is coming, approaching towards us. Uh, each has its own sons. So if you can avoid being the son of the dunya, then do so. Today you are in a place of deeds meaning the dunya where there is no reckoning and tomorrow you will be in the akhirat where there will be no deeds there will only be reckoning now let us make dua allahumma inna nas'aluka al-jannah 
وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل Oh Allah, we ask you for Jannah and all those a'mal that would bring us close to Jannah whether they be verbal or practical min qawl aw amal wa na'udhu bika min an-nar and we seek refuge in you against jahannam and all those deeds that will take us closer to jahannam whether they may be uh, verbal or practical qawl aw amal rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta as-sami'ul alim wa tub alayna innaka anta at-tawwabur rahim bi hurmati sayyidin nabiyyil karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam